These Division I tennis players spend a lot of time practicing at this typical looking tennis court in New Jersey. But high tech video and data analysis is changing the way future pros are learning the game. You, yeah, you can't really see all the, all the little details that with a human eye than you can with a camera or on technology. So small details really show up. You can slow it down and like, like really see where you're making mistakes or losing power. The Court Sense teaching program is owned by one of Novak Djokovic's coaches and features the PlaySight camera system based on Israeli Air Force technology. When you made that correction, all of a sudden now your ball is five miles an hour faster or slower or more spin. The technology made an immediate difference for me, showing exactly what I was doing wrong, like dropping my left arm rather than keeping it up to stabilize the ball. It goes beyond tennis too with sports biomechanics looking for any flaws or asymmetries in the player's mental reaction time and physical performance. If you're a better athlete, the science behind um, athleticism says that you'll have uh, reduced injuries and a longer career. I feel that every generation gets better, um, partially because of technology gets better. And Eric Chimmy joins me now live from the U.S. Open. And the, the young talent, Eric, has been a real theme, Coco Goss, uh, Taylor Townsend's big win yesterday. So are they all using this technology? Is it something that we should expect, you know, normal high school kids to be using in the near future? The technology is definitely starting to spread. It started here in northern New Jersey, or not here, but over there in northern New Jersey, and it's going to more courts across the country. A lot of little kids under 10 years old, their parents are bringing them, bringing them into the courts. They're working on it so they can get that good by the time they get to high school age or get to U.S. Open age. And a lot of courts, people like you and me, could use the technology if we wanted to really compete in those working people's groups for the old folks above 35 years old. So it's spreading and it's, it's really accessible to anybody who wants it. Yeah, it's amazing. And so you've done basketball, tennis. I think next we got to get you on the football field, see how you hold up there, Eric. Or maybe race car driving. That would be a good one, too. <laughs> yeah.